welcome to my channel, Saskia Smith Art here. Um, today we are going to do a texture painting and we are going to use uh, Powertex Universal Medium. Um, this is the color Ivory. If you want to norm know more about this, uh, please check my website. And we are going to use some Powertex 3D Sand and some Powertex Stone Art. Uh, you will see what I'm talking about in a minute. And on my website I have all explanation and videos about this um, medium. Now I'm going to rub uh, in some uh, easy 3D sand. Or 3D Powertex 3D sand. I'm just tapping and rubbing and yeah, just put it in there. The Powertex Universal Medium is also used as a fabric hardener and it's made, uh, it's also used to make uh, little statues. And I really love working with it. So I'm adding more scent now. This scent is a very th uh, fine scent. So I will get texture from it, but um, really fine texture. And that is what I wanted in this case. But um, if you would mix um, the Powertex Universal Medium uh, with a lot of sand or uh, this stone art, you would get a th very thick and rough um, texture. So now I'm uh, putting that uh, stone art uh, on there and I'm just tapping it in because it will absorb the Powertex um, Universal Medium and you can see that we are getting a, yeah, a much heavier texture there it's really beautiful and it really looks a little bit like uh, stones or a rock once it's dried so now I'm dividing some more of the universal medium. I started with a brush but it didn't work out as easy. So then I get a scraper to divide it all. Because I wanted my whole canvas to be covered with the Powertex universal medium. And I'm going to rub in a little bit more of the stone art. And if you would mix this um, in a cup and uh, don't dilute it that much, yeah, it's also uh, an air dried clay. So yeah, it's really fun stuff to work with. You can do really a lot with it. If you go uh, on YouTube and you just uh, type in the search bar Powertex, then you will see a lot of videos where people are using this. It's really fun stuff. I love it. So I put a little more sand on there. But I will just let you watch this and I'll be back if I have something to tell you. So once it was dried, uh, I painted it with gesso. So uh, if I'm going to paint it, we have uh, 
grip for everything. And now I'm using the golden crackle paste because I wanted some spots with crackle paste. You can make that uh, for yourself with uh, the PowerTex Universal Medium and Easy 3D Flex. Uh, but I was lazy and I knew I had a jar of this. So that's why I got the golden crackle paste. But so you would know uh, it would be cheaper to make it with the power tax. And now I'm going to put some uh, vivid art fluid from Color Art in a bottle. Because I'm also going to use uh, Color Art Primary Elements pigments and they need some kind of binder to grab uh, the painting. Um, now I'm spraying water first, but if I'm going to put pigments on it, I also will use the Vivid Art Fluid. Just to give, uh, give the pigments a little bit of body and they will stick to the canvas. And so you know, you will see me doing uh, a lot of color changing because every time I put on a color on there, I just, I wasn't satisfied. I didn't know I was missing something or I don't know, but it turned out to be totally different than what I was doing uh, when I started this. So yeah, maybe you see a stage of my painting that you think, oh, if I'm going to do this, I would leave it like this. And looking back, there were some stages in this painting that I thought, oh, this wasn't too bad, but I'm happy uh, with how it turned out now. And it was really fun to do. But for me, this is also all ex experimenting because lately I'm a little bit obsessed with the textured art and yeah, I've uh, almost never done it before. So. I just want to experiment and try and learn and that was actually really fun. So I suggest if you do like uh, stuff like this but you have never done it, just go for it, do it and it doesn't matter if it doesn't turn out exactly what you have in your mind. What matters is that you have fun and that, that you are actually doing it. You can sit on your couch, watch videos all day and thinking, oh, I wish I would, uh, I could do this or I wish I would do that. But just get up and do it. That's what I do. And of course, not everything will turn out to be really great. But I don't care because I have fun and yeah, I'm getting off my butt and do something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but it's it's actually it's so much fun to try s something new and I've never seen anyone rubbing in pigments the way that I'm doing now, but I just thought I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to try it. Who knows? And it actually looks so beautiful. Yeah, you cannot see that because my lighting is a little bit off, but in real life where you should see the shimmer of the pigments it's so gorgeous and it's actually a lot of fun to work with uh, water or the fluidity of water and making a painting yeah it's just fun so i actually hope i inspired some of you maybe to try something similar and just have fun with painting. You know, when I first started painting, I I was sick and I lost my business and I was in a really low point in my life. And then I saw fluid art on social media. And that's uh, when I started trying it and it really helped me yeah, to, to, to get back my joy in life, you know. And that's why I always want to try new things, because it, it makes me happy. And I actually did like the way that this was, looking back. But I decided it needed 
some lighter paint. I don't know why, because <laughs> I think it was actually very pretty, but it doesn't matter. It's an experiment and we learn as we do, you know, because next time I will know better. That's how we learn. So I'm just going to let you watch this for now and I'll be back if I have something to tell you.
And so you know what the adv advantage is <clears throat> that I change colors so many times. Uh, if you want uh, to make a textured painting, it's best to have a lot of layers um, on your uh, texture because it creates depth. So it's not uh, that I totally wasted uh, doing all this. Because when you look closely at my painting, uh, of course I cannot show you in the camera. You can see uh, every color that I used. And well, as you can see uh, in a minute, I, uh, the, the end colors are totally different. But you, yeah, you could see that at the beginning of my video. But this was just, yeah, I learned a lot. So yeah, it was fun. And it actually, it, it really helps to have a lot of colors on top of each other. And then spray it with water. Because yeah, you will get so much definition in your painting. But okay, I will let you watch.
I never got it, what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold But you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough for you Try to fool ya. I'm one heartbeat away from going mad. Go and you're looking like that. Closer, closer, I'ma get closer to you. Yeah, got me, baby, got me hooked on you once again.
another chance Loving you is all I wanted I'm wide open for a love affair Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Damn So here we are seeing a couple of uh, photos of the dried result and I hope uh, you learned something uh, from my experimenting uh, and maybe don't make the same mistakes I did but I want you to know that uh, I really enjoy doing this and I hope you had some fun too uh, watching my video and I want to thank you for being here and hopefully to see you next time. Okay guys, bye bye.